I'm with Jack and Harley from Garmin, and we're about to go cycling. We are at the cyclery, cyclery, cyclery. I don't know. I've never asked, but we should ask. We should ask. We should ask. We should ask, we should ask before putting it on the internet. The wood cyclery. Cyclery. I love my comment. It's about to age very badly. Wait, say it again. Wood cyclery or cyclery? The wood cyclery. guys from Garmin in the New Forest, we're joining the Cyclery, or the Cyclery, which is a bike shop in Lyndhurst. They host one of these a week, and um, we're along for the ride. This time, unlike yesterday, I'm overbiked. Hey Jack, yeah. everybody's got big flappy shirts. Yeah. And we're the weird roadies at the back. Absolutely, mm. yes. I, the thing is, I don't have a Garmin big flappy shirt. Oh, so it'd be off brand, wouldn't it? They should make one. My legs are smashed. Your legs are tired as mine. Yeah, and I rode a road bike yesterday, so. No. Uh, the egg isn't as good as the heart. So in terms of star mix, the heart's your, your premium. Egg's somewhere in the middle. And then absolute filler, the, the jelly men. The bears even, I think it's a bear, isn't it? I have a friend that looks like one of those. But in the super kiddies mix, the bears, which are more like a jelly baby, you know what I mean? Mm. That's the superior bear. They rank higher in terms of Super Kiddies mix than these little guys. And then cola bottles maybe somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Feel me at my worst. You're not even breathing. You <laughs> run ultra marathon. Yeah. But... Jack runs ultra. He ran 106, 107, 106 miles. How long does it take you to recover from an 106 mile run? <laughs> uh, well, have you found out yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I'll still going. Ask me in a month. Now I did that so did that three weeks ago, and yesterday was the first time I did any exercise since. Right. I probably could have done exercise before then, so I guess like few weeks but I think if I tried to do anything like hard I think my body would probably just be like what are you, what are you doing but yeah I felt right yesterday that was three weeks on um, but it's more like it's more recovering from the damage to like your feet than it is your muscles and the aerobic stuff yeah because you like actually cut your feet up yeah, I yeah, suppose yeah, yeah. I finished they look like I've been in the world's longest bar <laughs> like they were just like just like trench footy and that's what's taking the longest time is you just couldn't walk properly because of all the fists yeah, yeah. and bad nails that's my crazy. actual like legs and kind of like aerobic fitness kind of felt all right after like a, oh, a couple of weeks of good sleep well well done thank you very much six miles cheers uh, i feel as if put it in the comment section down below if you'd like to know a bit more about ultra running because i'm interested in it that is a very long way to run jack <laughs> well we're gonna have to more please <laughs> the viewers will find out won't they when 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 francis enters his first ultra uh, ultra Wait, what's considered ultra, ultra, ultra run well anything longer than a marathon technically but basically like 50k up is kind of like you you're an ultra like if you run 27 miles and call it an ultra marathon everyone's just a bit like that's just a marathon and, and like a few more steps Tom, mm -hmm. is it cyclery or cyclery? Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave it on that cliffhanger. <laughs> Top ride, wood cyclery. Thank you for hosting us. Thanks for going easy on me. You've been thinking about food for a while. Right here. Specific bagel. <laughs> the organic rasa raspberry lemonade from Karma Drinks. It's fair trade. And the, the blurb reads, lemons get a sweet and tangy twist in Raza, our punky pink lemonade. This is pretty punk, isn't it? That's a punk lemonade. It's not punk. No, you reckon? It's got a skateboard. It's got Converse on. That's pretty punk. I'm now back home for the first time since, well, since before the Morzine trip, before the Garmin trip, before the New York trip. This is the first time I've been home for more than an hour before the start of New York, which was three and a half weeks ago. So, 
All of my bike stuff is just in a giant bike explosion. It's all over the house in different places. Now, none of these jobs are big, but there's so many of them. It's gonna take me ages. A very small price to pay for an amazing time. Uh, Tony is actually on the way here. My brakes are backwards and he is in possession, which I am not, of some barbs and olives. I only needed an olive, not a whole toolbox. Gotta to have all the tools, haven't you? It's actually a brand new toolbox. It does everything, that. Because it's plastic, right? So it's yeah. I have a massive studio in town with work stands and every tool under the sun, yet we choose to do this in a kitchen. It's more fun. No, it's it's more real. This is, this is, this is real, real life. When people start complaining that internal cable routing is like, really hard to work with, and we're doing it in your kitchen. Yeah, it's so easy, mate. Yeah, I know. This is real. It's a one-man job. Daisy's back in the videos. Woo Bike is fixed. Uh, we're now going to the tip. This is the most productive day ever. It has to be because we've been away for so long as been an accumulation of jobs. Here's the vlog of us going to the tip. Nick Hartner, eat your heart out. Stay tuned for more episodes this week of taking the bins out, going to Sainsbury's, hanging up the washing. You've just listed all of the things that I do. You don't take out the bins. I do, and I always do the washing. I'm gonna make my own vlog channel and expose you. Daisy does the bins when I'm not there. Quick. Battery replacement on the Garmin rallies. These were served me well over the last few weeks. And I thought I'd change the road ones as well. And this brings us nice and cyclically back to Garmin. A big thank you to Garmin for having me over the last couple of days, for hosting a fantastic charity event and having me along to their local shop ride too. Now I've had some time to recover from those big rides. Expect some more videos this week where I'll be heading into the studio to, um, well, I think it's time to test some new parts. I need to, uh, I need to put this bike together first though. It's in bits. 